What's up, guys? Uh, this is going to be a logic problem involving people trapped on an island, and we're going to help them get off the island using our logic skills. So the problem starts with this island in the middle of the ocean, and some weirdo decided to drop a bunch of people on this island and give them rules. So he says, uh, you can't communicate. That means you can't speak to each other, you can't write messages in the sand, and you can't use sign language or anything like that. And they basically have one way of getting off the island. A boat comes in every day, and the guy says, does anyone know their eye color? And anyone who can state their eye color will leave on the boat. Otherwise, they have to stay. And if they guess wrong, then they're stuck on the island forever, no matter what. So we have our makeup of people. Uh, maybe some of them have brown eyes. Some of them have green eyes. Some of them have blue eyes, whatever. If we were to take one of these guys, we want to look through his eyes and see if there's a way to logically deduce his eye color just based on what he's seeing. And maybe they have different eye colors. Maybe they all have uh, brown eyes. That still doesn't tell him anything. He could still be the one person who doesn't have brown eyes. He's not going to risk a guess. So for now, there's no way for him to logically deduce his eye color. So he's super sad because he really wants to go home, but it's not going to happen right now with the information given. So basically, the boat comes in, asks the question, everyone looks around, no one knows, and the boat leaves. Okay. So one day, a guru drops down, and he's allowed to speak one time, and only one time, and what he says is, I see at least one person with blue eyes, and then he leaves. And they're like, okay, thanks for nothing, I guess. So the question is, how many people, people will go home after the guru speaks? How many boat trips will it take for them to leave? Uh, if you want to think about this in, as an example, here are some numbers. If you want to try to solve this problem, now's a good time to pause the video. Um, what I love about this problem is the guru actually doesn't give them any new information. But if we break this problem into cases, then we can see how what he said is actually going to help the people of the island out, or at least the people with blue eyes. So let's think about the simplest case, the one person case. So we have one person who has blue eyes. And we have to think about what he's seeing. So he's looking out and he's seeing a bunch of people who do not have blue eyes. And he's thinking, well, the guru said that there's somebody who has blue eyes. So if I'm not seeing anybody, then, hmm, it must be me. I must be the guy who has blue eyes. So then the next day when the boat comes and he says, does anyone know their eye color? He says, me, me, I do. I have blue eyes. And he jumps on the boat and he leaves everybody else behind and they're in trouble because they have no way of figuring out their own eye color. Uh, oh well. Okay, great. Two-person case now. So now we have two people who have blue eyes, and they're looking out, and they're seeing nobody who has blue eyes, except for one person. And what they're thinking is, oh, that one person, he gets to go home. He's that person the guru was talking about. So they're thinking that about each other, but then, well, then the boat arrives, and then it leaves. And they think, wait, what? Why didn't that guy go home? There must be something holding him back. Oh, somebody else with blue eyes. And if I'm not seeing anybody else with blue eyes, then wait, uh, it, it's both of us. It's, we both have blue eyes. So then now the boat is, uh, comes the next day and both of them get on because they have deduced that they both have blue eyes and they're super excited. But everybody else again gets left behind because they have no way of figuring out their own eye colors. So now let's move on to the three person case. Let's get real crazy with it. So now we have three people who have blue eyes and... They're looking, and they each see two other people who have blue eyes. So they're looking, and they're thinking, these guys are going to figure it out, and they're going to go home together on the second boat trip. And they're all thinking that kind of about the other two guys. So um, they're thinking, wow, two lucky guys. So then the boat comes, and then it leaves, and then it's back, and then it leaves again. And they're thinking, wait, why didn't those two guys go home? And again, what's holding them back is there must be another blue-eyed guy, and that must be me. And they figure out, oh, it's all of us. All three of us are going home uh, on the third boat trip. And now we can extend this to the four-person case. And it's a little bit tricky here, but uh, one person, one blue-eyed person is seeing three other blue-eyed people. So we'll just label them. And so we have the first guy who's watching the second guy who's watching the third and fourth guy. And the first guy is thinking uh, that the second guy is going to figure this out um, he's thinking that three and four are going to go home on the second boat trip. And when they don't, then uh, he realize, he's going to realize that he's the third blue-eyed person and they're all going to go home on the third boat trip. But in fact, one and two are thinking that about each other. 
So when that third boat uh, leaves, then they realize that there must be another blue-eyed person. So these guys are all looking around, and they're thinking, wait, uh, it's, it's, it's all of us. We all have blue eyes. So now they're super excited. All four of them are going home on the fourth day. And now we can extend this to the five-person case. And any one of these five guys is seeing four other guys with blue eyes, thinking they're going home on that fourth boat trip. When that doesn't happen, what's hold, they realize what's holding them back is another blue-eyed person, and then the five of them figure it out together that they're going home. Extend this again to the six-person case, and again, they're seeing five people expecting them. Those five figure it out and go home on the fifth boat trip. When that doesn't happen, they realize, oh, all six of us must be the blue-eyed people. In general, if we have M blue-eyed people, they will leave on the nth boat trip, which just leaves... Uh, these guys who do not have blue eyes and they're just waiting for another guru to drop down or for a plane to come or for this guy who put them here to stop being a weirdo about it and just let them off the island and tell them they're in trouble. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for other videos. I'm just going to make videos about problems that I find interesting and that's it.